Hi, this is a quick video to show you how you can connect to your SAP table data directly from within Data IQ. To do this, we use the XES console from DVW Analytics as a middleware between the two systems. From here, it's simple to create bespoke connectivity to many SAP objects. Here is the console. Let's create one of those connections to an SAP table. We select the table object here, but you can also see that we can connect to SAP T codes, BW queries, HANA views, and many others. We can also connect to any SAP system from here, and we use our credentials for that SAP system to ensure that our authorizations are respected. Next, we choose the table we're interested in seeing. When we select the table, we can see the metadata or the columns of that table and select the ones we're interested in. We can also filter on any of these columns to get exactly the data set we're interested in returning. So for instance, we can select the field material type and apply a filter on any value that's valid in there. We can also get a list from SAP of the valid values and we can apply as many filters as we wish. Once we've applied that filter, we can get a preview of the data that we will see when we push over to Data IQ. You can see it's been filtered on the material type we selected, so now all we need to do is save that configuration and we can consume that over in the Data IQ system. So we've created a connection now between the XS console and SAP to securely access SAP table data. Next, we will generate a Python script which can be consumed within Data IQ to create a dataset. So let's skip back to the XCS console to create a Python script which will be used in Data IQ to source and control the connection. Don't worry though, you don't have to be an expert coder to do this. You just simply need to select the connection you're interested in and the destination and the script will be generated for you. We can then copy it and we can use that across in a recipe within Data IQ. Now if we jump across into Data IQ, we can create a new project and create within it a recipe which holds our Python script. We simply click to create the recipe, add an output which is going to be a file and then paste our copied script into the recipe ready to run. When we hit run here, that makes a call back into the XES console to run the connection back into SAP and to pull the data from that table, which we can now see here as a Data IQ dataset. You can see that the filter has been applied on material type, but even better than that, we can apply filters that we feed from Data IQ into the connection. To do that, we create a file which contains the various filters that we want to use. This could of course come from another system entirely. It could come from another SAP table, but we can feed those filters into the recipe that we've built previously, and those filters will then be applied over in SAP. This of course makes the solution very dynamic and totally controllable from within Data IQ. And now if we rerun the flow, we're passing in those two filters for two different material types and extracting data for both of those back into Data IQ. And you can see that now here within the data set as it's been refreshed. As you can imagine, this makes this solution really powerful and dynamic. A great example of this is in the workflow that I can show you now. This uses a static filter for several company codes but pulls data from an SAP table called BKPF, which is the accounting document header table. Once the data is pulled from there, we use that as the filter for the line item or segment table BSEG. This gives us the full picture of the financial posting. We can then join the two together, which gives us a fully complete data set within Data IQ. So this provides a dynamic, flexible solution where users can select surgically the SAP data they want directly from within Data IQ. I hope this has been a useful video. If you'd like to see more, please come to our website at dvwanalytics.com. Thank you.